In this video, I'll be cutting out and removing this mess of poly B, PEX, and shark bite fittings and relocating the water lines from above the electrical panel to a wall mounted header or manifold system. I decided that this wall would be best suited for the install and since the wall is backing a bedroom, I'm insulating it to reduce any noises from the mechanical room. These are 1 inch bell hangers and the manifolds are 1 inch with a 3 quarter inch PEX inlet and 8 half inch takeoffs. After standing back, I realized the water lines would cross each other less if I flipped the direction of one of the manifolds. Next is shutting off the main water supply, opening a faucet to relieve the pressure, and cutting out this Frankenstein of plumbing. A great way to keep track of the hot and cold lines is cutting the cold straight and the hot on an angle. This way when you start reconnecting the lines you won't get confused. These 3 quarter inch copper lines feed the other side of the home and I'll be keeping them and adapting to them with a 3 quarter inch PEX by 3 quarter inch copper adapter. I'm going to speed up the soldering and crimping throughout this video, but if you need more information on these techniques, I'll leave links to more detailed videos at the end of this one.
I'm starting the reconnect by connecting the cold and hot from the water heater to the manifolds. This 3 8 valve is for a future reverse osmosis system. If you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe or check in in a few weeks. I'm now running the cold water from the manifold to reconnect to the other side of the home into the main water supply. And next is reconnecting the hot from the manifold to the other side of the home. All right guys, so this is where we're at. I pre-ran two lines here just ones that were in kind of a tight spot and would have been hard to film. But what I'll do is run upstairs and I'll rerun some lines to a bathroom group. And to be honest, if you've seen one line run, you've seen them all. So we'll demonstrate a lav and a toilet with new shutoffs. And if you're wondering what I did here with four uh, capped lines, there's an additional bathroom group upstairs that we're gonna be renovating. And there's just no point of running the water lines to it now because they're just gonna be ripped out in a few months anyway. I know a lot of you are probably shaking your head at the <laughs> electrical mess down here. It's absolutely disaster. Look, it's resting on the venting. I'm gonna tie that up. But just try to ignore it. What I'm gonna end up doing here is moving the panel probably to that void over there uh, just to get, there's a toilet right above the panel currently. So I just wanna move it over so that's not right above it. And I'm gonna rerun every single line. So. Try to ignore it, and we're just dealing with the plumbing today. I'll take you upstairs really quickly here to show you the bathroom group I'm gonna rip out, and then I'll start on the vanity and the toilet line replacements. So this is the ensuite upstairs, and you can probably tell why I want to rip it out. This toilet's not functional, and they roughed it in so close to the wall that they had to use a flush valve. So what I'm gonna do is move the drain out from the wall to 12 and a half inches off the rough-in wall so we can install a normal toilet. I'm gonna rip out the lav. This is about as tight of a bathroom as you can get. And this shower is just way too tight. I can't even fit in here. So I'm trying to get the camera. So I'm gonna rip the shower out completely. Put the lav in that end of the bathroom. So it'll just be a lav 
and a toilet. I don't think we need a shower in this tight of a bathroom. And this is the bathroom. I'll demonstrate changing a few of the lines. So I'm going to take out these poly B lines, put in some new shutoffs and some uh, chrome escutcheons as well. And also the toilet line. I'm opening the main water supply just slightly to fill the system slowly. The faucet is still open and once it flows without air, the main water supply can be opened fully and the faucet closed. There will be additional air to be purged at any new line that was run as well. Well guys, thanks for watching and I'm pretty happy that I don't have any more poly B lines left in the home and then also that they're not ran above the electrical panel. I do have my takeoff ready here for the RO system or the reverse osmosis which will be mounting right about here. And if you're interested in that video, it'll be out in about a week or two. And then also I have my takeoffs above here ready for the bathroom renovation, but that'll be in a few months from now. And like always, liking, commenting, subscribing is always greatly appreciated. Till next time.